Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Immersive Dispatch and how to activate your on-screen officer status. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Guys, forgive me. I've got some gas in my stomach. I've drank a bunch of Coke and I'm probably going to be burping throughout this uh, video. So, <coughs> excuse me for that. Sorry, guys. Um, guys, click the link below. It's going to bring you to this page right here, Immersive Dispatch. Uh, this is done by request from one of my subscribers. They've been asking me to do this. <clears throat> I've also got another request, guys, uh, for a megaphone plug-in. And... Um, We'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, what is today? What is today? Today is Wednesday. We might do that Friday because tomorrow I'm going to be doing the uh, a mega pack that somebody asked me to install as well. Um, okay, guys, so we're going to install Immersive Dispatch. Now, this goes, if I can get my computer to work right, of course. Now, this goes hand in hand with um, Grammar Police, guys. So if you do not have Grammar Police, then I would highly recommend installing Grammar Police. I will leave a link in the description below showing you how to install Grammar Police, guys, uh, because it is needed. It is absolutely a necessity to have Grammar Police for this. All right, right here. Through voicing using Grammar Police. Right there it is, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go over here and we're going to download this file right here, as always. Agree and download. And as always, guys, we want the main file right there, the bottom one. If you guys are ever unsure of it, just scroll back up and check the numbers, 12010. And right there it is, guys. Click the main file. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week, man. Y'all been enjoying live streams. Y'all are happy where you want to be in life, and you're staying consistent to pray with God or some kind of meditation. Guys, right there is your Grammar Police mod. Uh, I will leave a link for you guys to show you how to install that. All right. So what do you want to do with Immersive Dispatch, guys? Save it wherever you want, as long as you know how to get to it, okay, guys? Right here, we'll put in your download loader, and this right here, we'll let you uh, put it where you, want, where you want, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Now, let's close out of this, and um, I forgot to put up my Immersive Dispatch WinRAR, so give me just a second, guys. I will pull it up real quick. Let me go to my folder, and LSPFR plugins is what I'm looking for right here. All right, and we want the Immersive Dispatch, so... Let me find it here real quick, guys. Here it is. All right. See, that's how I do it, guys. I save all my stuff in a folder. And see how I, I just dragged that out? I just took it and pulled it out to the desktop like that. And then I still have my main copy in here. That still always works. No matter how many times I pull that to my desktop, no matter how many times, it still stays in this main folder. That's a good thing about having folders, guys, okay? Now, let's, um, let's go ahead and pull up our GTA 5 main directory, all right? This is going to be for um, this is going to be for Steam users. I have not done a grammar police for Epic users yet, okay? Um, or immersive dispatch. But <clears throat> anyway, guys, what you want to do is you want to open up your immersive dispatch, all right? And this is going to take some tweaking, guys. There's a few things we have to do after we install this. Click on OP immersive right there. And then what you want to do, guys, is grab every single one of these, including the Rage Den of UI guys, because this one is from 629 2020 so this is the most recently updated rage native ui okay so you can go ahead and drop that in there you just grab these and drag them and drop them in now it's probably gonna if you already have a rage native ui which i'm assuming you do it's going to ask you to override it so go ahead and overwrite that and when, once you drop them in the main directory once you're done guys close out of this right here and get rid of your winrar Win shortcut now what you want to do guys there's a few things we got to do let me get my notes up here real quick okay and let me pull them up because there's a few things that we actually have to do that we have to adjust. All right, so guys, Immersive Dispatch. Let's go into our plugins folder. Let's go to LSPDFR. And then right here, you scroll down, guys. Your Immersive Dispatch is... Where is that? Where is it? Right here, OP Immersive Dispatch. You want the configuration setting. Open that up. Okay. And then let's open that up real big. Now, right here, guys, you're going to change your call sign to whatever you're, you have it as. Um, you know, whether it's Lincoln, um, you know, Adam, Boyd, Charles, David, Edward, Frank, Henry, Ida, John, K, 
king, whatever it is, guys, and your numbers, you know, here's your division number, your, your unit type, and your beat number right there, okay? Now, the one important thing I do want to point out in here, ladies and gentlemen, that we really need to change besides this area right here, um, is you want to scroll down to where it says officer check-in, okay? Because this can get quite annoying. Now, what this is, guys, is dispatch will check in with you uh, actually too often and say, one at them, or whatever your call sign is, they'll call you and make sure that you're okay. If you do not answer them the first two or three times I think it is, they will send panic signal out, and they will send officers to your location, okay? So you, if, you, if you want them to check in on you, which I'm going to tell you right now, it gets annoying, then leave this right here where it says active. Leave that at true. If not, then change it to false just the way I have mine right there, guys, okay? I would really highly recommend changing this to false just because it's annoying and she checks in way too much it's like every it's like every 30 seconds man she's checking in it's like i'm okay like like leave me alone get out of my kool-aid all right and then right down here guys is going to be your uh, menu for your immersive dispatch now on mine guys i just put um i always put none on that just because i never use the menu and I have other keys on L, and if I'm using that key, then Immersive Dispatch is going to constantly pop up. So I'm actually going to change that real quick. All right. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen, for this. Um, but make sure you do in install. Make sure you watch my video on Immersive Dispatch. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. On um, Grammar Police, and then come back and install Immersive Dispatch. Okay, so once you guys are done, as always, make sure you click File, and click Save, and then Close Out. Now, here comes the tricky part, guys. I'm going to show you how to activate your officer status on the screen. But the way that you have to do that, the way you do that is you have to have Grammar Police. So make sure you watch that video, guys, okay? So what you want to do is in your plugins LSPFR folder right here, you want to go to Grammar Police. And this is a little trick I learned from Jeffrey Gamer. Um, he actually got in touch with Benzo about this, and he came and showed me how to do it. We were talking about it. He was like, man, I'm going to, you know, we are talking about one of us getting in touch with Benzo, and talking to him about, um, you know, how he got this officer status on the screen. So, Jeffrey got in touch with him and come back and showed me. So, we're going to click on the default folder right here in Grammar Police, guys. If you have Grammar Police, go ahead and do this. If you don't, go install it, come back, and then come to this part right here. Now, in here, guys, again, you're going to change your call sign just the way it looks right here, guys. All caps right here. And then your numbers, of course. All right. So, change that. And then right here, if you like the hold to talk feature where you can hold the button and talk and she will not respond to you, let go, then change that to true. If not, just leave it at false, okay? Uh, right menu key is going to be your key that you push to, uh, to, to talk to your dispatcher. And then the main thing I really want to look at in here, guys, let's scroll on down. And right here, guys, where it says status text post X and status text post Y. Now... This right here is your show player status, okay? You want to change this right here from false to true, okay? That's going to pop up your, your officer status. It says um, out of service or on duty or in route or whatever, okay? Now, you want to change this from true to false. Now, the reason we have to change these numbers is because if you don't, this will overlap your player location display, okay? And we're going to change that too, and also, I think it overrides your map. Over it overrides your um, it overlaps your map a little bit. So, guys, I don't really remember what the default numbers are, but here is the numbers that you want to change it to. Right there, you want to change the status text post X post X to three seventy eight. I believe that's right. And then you want to change the status text post Y to one thousand. Okay, so three seventy eight and 1000 and make sure that your show target plate to true and show player status to true and make sure that this is set to true okay it should be this should be set to true by default but if it's not change all these three change all three of these right here to true okay and then set this to 378 and set that to 1000 okay once you're done guys go ahead you know what to do click save and then go back now we're going to go back to our main directory and fix our player location display okay Let's scroll down in our main directory until we find the player location display. Now, we want the configuration settings, so go ahead and open that up. All right? Now, what you want to do, guys, right here at the very top, this is where I'm at right here, okay? 
These two are the ones you want to change. I'm not sure what they are by default, guys. Like I said, I've changed mine. But this one, this one right here that says uh, local text, um, I think that's what it stands for, local text post X, you want to change that from whatever it is to 320, okay? And change this one to 950. So 320 and 950 is what they have to be. Now we're adjusting these like this so that the player location display is moved out of the way of the officer status um, plug-in, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, the officer status on screen, the on-screen officer status, okay? That way they're not overlapping one another, okay? So once you guys get those changed, let's go ahead and make sure you click File and click Save once you're done. And, of course, guys, refresh your directory and... Uh, and then close out of this. And I'm going to take you guys in the game and show you exactly how this officer status plugin works. I will see you on inside the game. All right, guys. So now you should, if you look down by your mini map, you should have um, a little indicator down that says status. And it should say out of service when you first enter the game. And your player location display has now moved from the bottom to the top. That's why we had to readjust the positions on them. Okay, guys? So what's going to happen is with the Mercy Dispatch, you have a lot more options. Let me get to this traffic. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, uh, we're going to go 10-8 first. So I'm going to call Dispatch. Let me turn my head from playing just a little bit, guys. All right. One out of seven. Go ahead. Show me 10-8. Now watch guys, the status will change from out of service Roger. to on patrol. One, see that? Seven. Proceed to okay, see how that works? Alright. It's actually a really cool feature. Another cool feature about it too that Jeffrey showed me. So big shout out to you, Jeffrey Gamer, man, for showing me how to do this, brother. I meant to give you a big shout out while ago and I didn't do it. I, I kind of got sidetracked, brother, but I'm so sorry, man. Big shout out to Jeffrey Gamer. Big shout out to Jeffrey Gamer for showing me how to do this, man. I really appreciate you, brother. You are the man. So guys, we're going to pull a vehicle over here. And I'm going to show you why we're doing this. Oh, we got a pursuit going on. There he goes right there. I'm not getting that pursuit. It happens every time I do it. Every time I do a showcase, there's a pursuit going on. Let me see if I can end that pursuit real quick. There we go. There we go. All right, now let's pull this guy over. Now let's pull him over. All right. Come on, man. Pull it over, brother. Oh, my gosh. You're going to wait for a red light, man. Let's see if I can't get him to pull up. Oh, and my spotlight is on. Sorry about that, guys. Is this dude going to pull up or what? Let's try it one more time. Right now, I think my spotlight is off. There we go. Yeah. I actually changed it from the letter I to the letter M. Okay. And then when I get out, it's going to cancel the traffic stop. Look, it does it every time. What is this guy doing? All right. So, look, guys. We're going to pull somebody else over because this guy's just being ignorant. Hey, man. Get moving. You done made me mad. All right. Let's grab this cab right here. Them lights, guys, are seriously popping. All right, now, let's see if he'll actually pull over. But I want to show you this, guys, because when you when you do a plate check, it will show up in your officer status right there. Man, is this guy not going to pull over either? There he goes. Come on, man, pull it over. Bro, you are not going to pull right there, man. What are you doing, broski? These people are so dumb. I need to smoke something. What are you doing, man? Holy fucking shit! Holy shit! Bro, what are you doing? I'm just trying to do a showcase, my man. Pull over. And now I pinged him. You know what? All right. Let's go, let's go grab this guy then. 
It ain't gonna work like that. We'll do it like this. Hell. Now, can you please pull over? That would be really great. <laughs> Alright, they finally pulled over. Alright, so now guys, the cool thing about this is when you're behind a car with immersive dispatch, when you hold down the key to talk to dispatch, you'll automatically see the plate number pop up in the status. One item seven. So when you need to get a plate check, guys, it's right there. Push the button, hold it down. Can I get a plate check on an 80 Sam Mary Young 325? And there you go, guys. To see how it showed up in the status down there is so cool, man. Ooh. 80 Sam Mary Young 325. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Alright, so being the fact we're not doing an episode, guys, I'm going to cancel this traffic stop. And, uh,. So anytime that you like, say I'm in route, dispatch show me in route, it'll show you in route on your status. If you're on scene, dispatch show me on scene. Copy that. Alright, see One, that? Adam, seven. It goes Approach to showing you caution. on scene. So immersive dispatch is a pretty cool thing, guys. Dispatch show me in route. I don't know if it'll actually do it, but there's not a call going on. Yeah, I may not do it unless there's a call going on. Let me let me activate a call and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's go like this. Uh, not a not a pursuit, definitely. All Attention right. unit one out of seven. Calling. We have a traffic alert. And we're going to respond um, back. Hawick Avenue for possession of drugs for sale. Dispatch, show me en route. Ten four. All right. Copy that. One Adam seven. And there you go, guys. And if you want to code for the call without having to go through your menu and all that, and and you know. I mean, your police smart radio and in the call or anything like that. All you gotta do is go like this. Dispatch, we are code for. Attention, all units. There you go. Code for no additional. You are back on patrol, guys. I'm sorry I took a minute to pull that person over, which I'll probably edit that part out. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to the. To the uh, I want to keep wanting to say live stream. We have a suspect on the run. Suspect and uh, thank you guys for tuning in the video. Uh, I really Santos appreciate you guys. Subscribe to my Airport. channel if you have not already. There is lots more tutorials on here about LSPFR and lots more to come, guys. Also, smash that like button for me if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. And turn on the notifications so that you never miss anything I post, guys and girls. Also, check out my YouTube brothers and sisters. Jeez. Check out my YouTube brothers and sisters in the description below, guys. Their links are down there. <clears throat> Go show them some love, guys, and subscribe to their channels. Um, I love you all so very much, guys. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.